guys, it's April 1st and no tricks today, all treat. Um, it's raining outside and it's kind of unfortunate because it's like 70, it's gonna be 70 today. And when I walked out there today, um, it was nice and warm. Um, so today I'm doing some shopping online and I'm gonna see how I can try to set this up. Uh, but there is a new mom company in town. Uh, it's called Three Porch. And so they are opening their moms to people who are on their waiting list, which obviously I was because that's what I do. And so I'm just gonna be getting an email right now. So uh, let me actually, let me see if I can get on, get on something and do this, like Zoom or something. So these are, so what they did tell you on there is that number one, these are actual rooted small plants and not cut flowers. So they're basically two to four inches from the uh, bottom of the root to the top of foliage. So the cuttings I typically get. So um, I'm ready for that. And so they're ready to pot up. Um, each collection comes with 12 rooted cuttings. And so they can't take substitution to custom orders. So this is the first of a few offerings we will be listing over the next couple of months. Okay, so they'll be shipping out April 11th. So let's see what they got here. Okay, so these are just, these are packs. Okay, let's see. Um, They're 12 rooted plugs. So 12, yes, that's about 550 per plant, which is not surprising. Uh, so the first one, this one, uh, the first box that I'm looking at right here contains C. Vesuvio, which I've had, see, see, here's the thing, problem, guys. With some of the chrysanthemums, um, the first cold snap we had, which, which went down to the three degrees, did kill some of them. Uh, but we did have a second really cold snap down to four degrees. But the thing is, it was after some weeks where it had warmed up. So a couple of things, some things had started coming out of hibernation. And then we got that. And when I went back out there, there were things I knew I had seen, like, I had seen green growth at the growth at the base and I'm not seeing it. So I don't know if that last uh, thing, because they were coming out of dormancy, killed the entire plant or if they just set it back. So I'll have to wait it out um, to see. But meanwhile, I'm just going to order some more mums. So then we have uh, Nijin Big O. That's a nice one. Uh, Purple Light. You know what? I think I have that one coming. Um, I mean, I can't trade anything, but I don't want, but I want to get a, a box that doesn't have what I've already got in there. Then we got Kelvin Tattoo, which I have. Um, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so it's 12. Okay, so it's basically one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's three of each. Okay, so I can handle the size. This is what I typically do. Not a biggie. Okay, so then let's talk about, this one is called the, okay, so the one I just looked at was Flower Power, and this one is called Vibrant Autumn Mix. So let's see what they got. So they have a uh, paint box. Oh, actually, that's a nice one. Safina, I ordered some of that, but that's a pretty one. Man, set a sunset. I think I have some of that on order. And then Fort Vancouver, which I absolutely loved. So that's a nice, that's, those are nice. And then let's see the farmer's mix. Okay, or farmer's, oh, is it farmer's choice or farmer's mix? Okay, so we have Kelvin Tattoo, uh, Kelvin Mandarin. I've had both of those. You can't go wrong with either one of those. Annie Girl, which is a decorative one that I've seen. And let's see, in this one, oh, wait, hang on. There's only three in here. Oh, let and then farm stress, let us surprise you. Okay. So there's three and then plus a surprise. Okay. Sparkle and shine. Okay. So let's see. Kermit. I have that one. That's a great one. Vesuvio. Um, Nij Bigo, Nijin Bigo, and Evan's Dream. Evan's Dream is pretty. And I don't know that any of my Evan's dreams survived. So uh, and then this is the Kelvin mix. And so it's just Kelvin tattooed and Kelvin Mandarin. So it's going to be six of each. Okay. And then, oh, wait, this is one sold out. Dang it. 
uh, Paint Box, Crimson Tide, and Coral Reef, and Saga no Yuki. Wow, that was, that was, okay. It's already sold out. Okay, so well, let me look, let me look, let me look. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, paint box, Athena, and set of sunset in Fort Bank. Ooh, guys, this is hard. That's really hard. I'm pretty sure I have some, you know, guys, let me look in my email at my King's Mom's orders because I thought I'm pretty sure I did Safina. And that mine, those should be, I think I chose the April 1st. I think I chose the April 1st group. Okay. So, well, the thing is I looked uh, according to my order, I ordered more feeling green and Kermit. Uh, let's see. I did get paint box. Oh, I didn't remember that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me grab my other list. Okay. So, cause I did some through my, um, my chrysanthemum society. And see what the thing is, my mom only wanted 12. So I took the rest of her 13 slots because that's how I roll. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not get any Safina? There's oh, there's no Safina on this one. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got my list all confused. Yeah, so this is what the list looks like. Uh, so hang on, y'all. So because with my uh with the central so with the group that I'm part of, there were some heritage ones that were only available to us. And then there was regular ones. So, okay, I did get, okay, so I did get Safina. I got Safina. Okay. Because with my mom, some of the ones that I thought were really, really um, nice, like, uh, for example, they had Candid. And I want to say that I got, I need to speak with these pages, y'all. It's killing me. Yeah, so I got Candid on on mine and then candid i got two candidates because one i put one on my mom's because she only went pink and yellow and candid is red but let's see if but i got any more safina elsewhere okay so i only got safina on mine so i do have that one okay okay so did i get man set of sunset for some reason i'm pretty sure man set of sunset is on one of these one of these lists. Hmm. Um, did I get me instead of sunset? No, I did get me instead of sunset. Okay. Okay, so I have, see, I just don't know if my Fort Vancouver survived. And it looks like I'm getting paint box too. Okay. Um, let's see. So Kermit, Vesuvio, Evan's Dream. Ooh. Okay, let me see. And well, they are saying this is the first offering. Oh guys, decisions, decisions. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one because I, I it does it looks like the Vesuvio died and it looks like Evan's dream died and um although I'm getting a Kermit that's I like a green one and I don't have this one at all so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart cart and you know what I will I will continue to check back um because if this is the first of many offerings then they're gonna have you know then there may be other things that they have so. I think that is going to be, and this one, yeah, because you know what? I don't have Crimson Tide, but that is a pretty one now that I'm seeing it. Um, you know what? You can't go wrong with Mama's Guys. So uh, let me see what, I've never been to their website before. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the couple. 
Oh, that's both botanicals. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And so now I got some time to kill because I was actually going to go to um, Kennett Square. There's this one antique store. They were going to have like a, um, a yard sale in the front of the store. And she told me last week when I was there that this one lady who has a lot of oil paintings was going to be there, but it's raining. So they moved it to next Saturday. And so I, my next event today is that Sunflower Steve is opening his site for sales for of his sunflowers. And so actually, you know what? Because here's the thing, Cordless Farm is also opening today. And so they, their opening started at 10 and, I'm, and they have a big greenhouse. So it's something to do indoors. Um, and one of my favorite coffee shops is there. And so I kind of want to do that too. I, I want to do that. So because with Sunflower Steve, it's only the one pack of seed. So what I can do is, because it's only going to take me like an hour or so to get to Portalist Farm, I can kind of go there, do some shopping, have my phone set for like 12.55 because his shop is opening at 12 o'clock um, Central Standard Time and I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So it would be one o'clock, just set my thing so that I can log on at 12.55, get on his website and then be ready to purchase at one. So let's actually, you know what? Let's go to uh, Sunflower Steve's website. Cause I'm really, I'm really excited for that. I've been watching him. I found out about him through from Nicole through Flower Hill Farm. And um, I've been watching him develop, you know, develop his seed line. And so I think you guys can see this. So basically this whole thing started because he was a cut flower farmer. And my understanding is that like he had a field that was like fallow, which is what like, basically it's like when you take a year off from planting, you just kind of let the, like let the soil replenish. And he found a bicolored sunflower. And basically he took that one sunflower and from that one mutation, like he has developed a whole line. And so you can see all the things uh, that he's got going here um so it's i'm trying to think does he have yeah so it says van Gogh's fantasy mix packets will be restocked april 1st uh 12 o'clock p.m cdt so let's go here and so It is, it's a mix of colors. It can range from orange, yellow, orange, lemon, gold, amber, burgundy, pinkish, auburn, copper, red, and any combination in between. Uh, so they could be solids or multicolored. They may be singles, you know, doubles, semi doubles and singles. And so um, okay, so the more space you give them, the bigger that they'll be. Okay, so um, <laughs> some have gotten 10 feet tall oh okay so basically plant these at the back row guys okay so i am i am really excited uh to get some of these seeds but you know what i i, I see i'm part of his newsletter and so he told about some plans he has for next year uh, so let me see if i can pull up that newsletter because that was really so this is basically, I guess, a range of what they could look like. So that's going to be really interesting. So um, I guess the first flower was one called Gigi. And I think he's got a picture of it lower down. Um, and so basically he has no idea what they're going to do, you know, when they, when what they're going to do, what they're going to look like. It's just, it's just going to be a guess and that's fine. Um, it doesn't seem like any of them, some of them, it looks like may multi-branch. And he said, you'll be able to tell um, that, that, that they multi-branch because he said that he finds that a high percentage will branch if you pinch them. So if you see leaf nodes above existing leaves. So that's good. Um, Oh, wait a minute, guys. I just realized I didn't actually purchase those. Oh, my goodness. Hang on, guys. 
hang on y'all because I totally forgot that I didn't actually purchase the plant I just put in my thing. Um, so yeah, so I got an email, it's confirmed. Okay, so now I can do other stuff. Uh, so that was pretty funny actually. I was gonna, I was doing all this talking and not realize that I didn't actually, I actually closed out of the website. Can you start them inside? You know what, when I get them, I'm gonna do what I did with the other sunflowers. I'm just gonna put them in containers outside. I just do like, a, this is like the latest winter sowing. I mean, they'll be fine. Um. So, okay, so the he is gonna be scaling, what he's referring to as scaling up. So next year, it looks like he's gonna be separating the colors and that sort of thing. And so, he, he said, here's what he's scaling up. So it's this, these six right here. So that I, so I would assume by scaling up production on these next year, when he goes to sell them, you'll be able to pick the colors that you want rather than a mix. Okay. And so each of the packets is $12 and there'll be 25 seeds to the packet. And so if you want to buy a greater number, which I probably will, um, you buy four packets, you'll get a fifth for free. And if you do um, do one of these, I guess the four and get the fifth for free, you get your name put in a drawing to win one of two custom embroidered hoodies with my flower logo. Let's see the, oh, that's a nice sweatshirt. Okay. He does have hawk, I forgot about that. Okay, so it looks like um, in 2024, he's going to be doing Lemon Drop. <laughs> and then, let's see. And then in 2025, he's hoping to release one called Marl or Marley. I, I don't know how you do it. Um, and then, and I guess these are things he has in the works. Ooh, that's an interesting one with the, the like, the variegated leaves. And so anyway, guys, uh, this is the best in the class of 2022. I remember seeing this one in the center on uh, on his Instagram page. That was really, really cool. And so he'll have baseball caps and that sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, guys, that is it. That, so that's what I've got. That's what I got planned today. So no antiquing uh, like I wanted to, uh, like I wanted to, but... I have gotten some shopping done. So for those of you guys who are into um, interested in moms, I will uh, post the link in my thing. Uh, obviously, that's a place that you're going to want to check back because, you know, at this point, a lot of people don't know about chrysanthemums. Uh, so some places like this place, you know, they're just now offering chrysanthemums. I had never heard of them before. They may have you know, availability for quite, you know, for a little bit. And then I'll just check back. And as they update it, I'll, you know, I'll go back and get some additional things. Uh, you know, the one thing, the one I'm, I'm still kicking myself over because the one chrysanthemum that I really wanted, it doesn't seem like anybody's offering it right now. Uh, and now that I think about it, I think it might've been, I looked in the wrong class. <laughs> mm. okay now i'm gonna have to i'm gonna reach out to the guy at the at the oregon chrysanthemum and then ask him if he was if he's gonna um does he have this one that i'm looking um one that i'm looking for it's Shiz shizu aki um because that's the one i really want to run and actually i'll reach out to my chrysanthemum group and see whether or not they um anybody has it because i think with the cold weather that came through i think a lot of people are not sure what survived in their in the yards which i totally understand because it was kind of brutal um you know what guys the other thing that i wanted to check is i did not start any snail line this year <laughs> And there is one place that I know <coughs> you can get it. <laughs> and so actually, let me share my screen, you guys, for that one. 
Okay. So Snailvine, as I understand, I think with Snailvine, I think Thomas Jefferson was one of the first place person to bring it to this country because he apparently was very into horticultural. Um, so it's a tender late summer to fall flowering vine. Mine last year didn't start blooming till September. So it's kind of nice because a lot of things in, in the garden are starting to die down and that's revving up. Um, let's see, it's not hardy in, it's only hardy in zones nine through 10. So actually, you know what, Emmanuel from, uh, from Ultimate Gardening, this is one for you. Um, and so, yeah, so this is what I'm going to get. Actually, I'm going to get two. And I'm going to try to figure out a way to collect seeds. So last year, uh, actually this year at the flower show, and I still haven't posted that video, I did ask the lady where I got the snail vine from last year if she had any, and she didn't. And she said the only reason that she had um, she had that last year is because um, it was these flower shows in the summer. Um, and she had put hers in the garage and I totally forgot to dig it out at the end, end of last year. And, um, she had hers in the garage and she goes, mine didn't make it, which I it probably didn't. So, okay. So that is done. <laughs> okay. So there's that. So now I've got my chrysanthemums ordered my i'm ready for sunflower steve and i went to monticello shop and got uh some snail vine that's the only place that i've seen now maybe there's another place that i just haven't seen that's the only place that i've seen that had um snail vine plant um if you guys find anything else let me know uh but monticello shop they have it uh i'm trying to think see if I can look at some other resources here just to make sure I'm not oh actually you know what guys hang on I'm seeing one place that is says it has the plant so it's called uh it's saying Burgess seed so let's say <coughs> it's potted and there's a jumbo pot so now that doesn't look like the color. Oh, it's an interesting variation in the color, but okay. So eburgess.com, I have never ordered from them. So I don't know how they would, how they would do, you know, obviously I, you know, I went with Monticello because I mean, it's a historical site and yes, I know it has slave history, which they are totally acknowledging and they're making sure that's part of the history of the history now, but you know, Typically, yeah, I think it's like a nonprofit, so I don't feel too bad. Um, so yeah, guys, so that's it. So anyway, I'm gonna stop this video. I'm going to edit it right quick, post it on uh, YouTube, and then I will give you guys a um an update on um you know how I make out with sunflower Steve. I know for some of the you guys watched the last shopping video with the um Hardy Plant Society and <laughs> <laughs> um there's a truck outside stacking somewhere i think across the parking lot or i don't know somebody probably had too much to live with today bumper stew okay stop stop ah uh -uh, stop it but anyway um with the hardy plant society i did not get the i was not able to get the honey roasted baptisia i was able to get um the passes to um to winter third and there was a book and then i was able to get the tuberoses so that's that's how i made out from there so anyway guys uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this kind of different than i typically do but i thought it would be kind of fun um so like i said i'll put all the links in my video and you know if you're if you get moms let me know you get some sunflower seeds let me know and um we'll, we'll go from there so i'm gonna head off to hortless farm to see what they've got uh, I may pick up a stock tank or so from Home Depot, but it's supposed to rain for most of the day. So I'm not going to get too much. I'm I'm going to be continuing to uh, split up seeds <laughs> and um, pop them up in, in taller things. But uh, 
that's pretty much it. And I do need to start some, I probably will start some like um, warm other like vegetables and that sort of thing on the heating mats. Cause I will, I would really like them for them to be kind of big. Cause I usually plant my stuff out around Memorial day because sometimes lately we've been having like near freezing temperatures, even in May. <laughs> so usually once the Memorial day gets here, it's fine. But if I start them now, they'll have two months of growth. So they should be really big by the time I put them in May. So hopefully it won't delay the harvest too much. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.